hi this is Abby from India people of God uh, today I am going to speak to your topic called as correction in righteousness you know many times people say grace teachers they always say you have grace you have love you have enough of agape love you have enough of grace and they, and, and they forget about the word correction they, they forget everything about correction but today I am going to say we as grace teachers how, how we are going to deal with the thing of correction how, how a correction has to be implemented the word of God says in 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 you know if we go to do this scripture you know it gives us something about teaches us something about correction and we need to know this correction the word of God says all scripture is given by the inspiration of God and it is profitable for four things one is doctrine one is reproof, one is correction, and one is instruction. It is profitable for four things. I want to say, people of God, that the, that the word of God is profitable for four things. From this four things, one thing I like is correction. Word of God is profitable for correction. But correction in righteousness. The word of God says something much further also. Correction in righteousness. It doesn't say only correction. It says correction in righteousness. We know correction, but we need to know correction in righteousness. The word of God says this thing very clearly. For all scripture is given by God for, for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. People of God, we all need to know correction in righteousness. We do not know the correction in righteousness. We need to know every correction in righteousness. Righteousness is very important. People of God, many, many people tend to forget about righteousness. They, need, they only think correction, correction, correction. But we need to know correction in righteousness. We need to know correction in righteousness. So what is this correction of righteousness I want to speak to you? You know, what is this correction of righteousness I want to speak to you? You know, people of God, uh, le let, me, uh, let me just uh, tell you uh, something. Uh, People of God, I just want to uh, depict something about correction in righteousness. You know, what is this correction in righteousness that God wants to speak to each and everybody? See, there is something which God wants everybody to know correction in righteousness. You know, many times, you know, it is, we always say, it is the Father who corrects us. It is the Father who corrects us. But we need to know what is correction in righteousness. You know, there are two types of righteousness. But the word of God says, the, the word correction given here is, has something different meaning. You no, know, the, the word correction here is it states two things. It states the one states to, to correct someone, but it states says over here to lead someone to a better state. To lead someone to a upright state. Here the word correction means to lead someone to a upright state. When you correct someone, are they getting condemned? Or are they getting something to a upper state or a upright state? This is what the correction here it means. For correction in righteousness means but when you are trying to correct someone in righteousness, you are going to get that person to an upright state. See, many times a rebuke, a rebuke means something that you want to say something about that you have done something wrong. But correction is above the rebuke. Correction means that you bringing someone, not only, not only rebuking that person, but also telling that, bringing that person to an upright state or to a right state. This is what correction means. If, if someone is correcting you, are you coming to a right state or are you coming to a better state or are you coming to an improved state? That is called as a real correction. This is called a correction in righteousness. We all know we have a righteousness just because what Jesus done for us. But you know, this correction, it helps us to be help to deal with right actions also. Rather to, to deal in right manner with, with, our, with our colleagues, with our friends, with everybody. This is what correction in righteousness means. You know, let, let, let's again go to the word of God. It says, uh, let, let me again give you the glimpse of it. The word of God says in 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16, it says that, that all scripture is given by God or is God breathed and is profitable. It's profitable for doctrine, for uh, instruction, for correction and for, uh, for, for reproof. For four things. But all things in righteousness. I want to say that correction in righteousness is very important. We all need to know correction in righteousness. Many times we do not speak about correction in righteousness. We only speak correction. We only need to say that this guy needs to be corrected. But you know, we need to speak about correction in righteousness. It's very important. 
We need to know how. We need to correct people, but you need to correct people in righteousness. What does the correct in righteousness mean? To bring someone to a better state, to bring someone to an improved state, to bring someone to a higher state. No, main and when we correct someone, that people may get hurt. But no, that is not a correct correct correction. Right correction is that you may tell people that you have done something wrong, but at the same time you will say that you will do something for a better state. Or you bring tell the answer to the situation and that that, that, that that guy understand. Yeah, this is what has to be done. Many times we condemn people. See, there is different between condemnation and there is different between correction. Condemnation is of devil, but correction is from God. Many times God also corrects us. So God doesn't correct us with disease, with pains, with sufferings, with temptations, with trials, with tribulations. This is not a way that God corrects us. No, you know, God corrects us in righteousness. Because His word corrects us in righteousness. The, the, the best thing which corrects us is His word. More, more than what people correct, I will say the best way you to be get corrected is to His word. Because the word of God says it is profitable for correction and righteousness. The word of God is profitable for everybody to be corrected in righteousness. Because the moment you are corrected, you, you need to know you are righteous. That is what the word of God says. The moment when I, when I, when I feel someone is corrected, you know I feel I am righteous. You should not feel that whenever you are corrected, ah, I have done something wrong. Oh, I should have not done it. Oh, this thing has happened. No, 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 people of God. When someone corrects you, you, you need to know you are righteous. This is all the ball of God says. For, 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 it's profitable for you to get corrected in righteousness. It's profitable, correction and righteousness. All three should go in hand. Many times we, don't, we are not profitable when someone corrects us. Maybe we are profitable when someone corrects us, but we, we are not think we are righteous. We need to know we are righteous for Jesus and, his, and the ball of God. It corrects us in such a way that he has us to deal even right with all things. Let, let, let me go something further in this, in this example or in this state or in this something. No, uh, no what of God says, so, so that the man of God will be, will, will be complete and thoroughly equipped for every good work. Then only if you are corrected in righteousness, only if, when you are corrected in righteousness, corrected in righteousness, and then only you can be a perfect person and thoroughly equipped for every good work. Because what of God says, you are perfect in Christ Jesus. But what is this perfect that I am talking about? This perfect is that you dealing in perfect things. You dealing, you thinking perfect thoughts. You, you walking in a perfectness of Christ. See, you are a perfect being just because you have Christ inside you. But this perfectness, it comes that the, the, the word of God changes you. So you, you are being changed. It is not the actions which are changing this thing. See, actions will never change your heart. 